was tagged by Natural Southern Girl. Hey, girl. Thank you for tagging me. Um, and during this tag, I'll talk about my keeper items. It's the products that um, I just constantly keep buying. That I can't get enough of. And I guess um, as I grow and get older, more mature, more knowledgeable, my keeper items will probably change. But this is um, the old ebony, the um, unhealthy ebony, the not health conscious ebony, the, the not environment friendly ebony. So, I will start by saying um, my very first keeper item is candles. I love candles and I have a ton. Um, Yankee candle is usually the ones that I purchase or my husband purchases, but um, that may change. I'm not quite sure. I, I read up on soy, so I want to do soy and I don't know if Yankee has soy, but I have a ton of them. And these are only a few that I can gather up for the video, but um, I don't discriminate with um, the smell. I usually like um, like fruit smells like cake and strawberries and vanilla and stuff like that. But I'll take anything like I have autumn leaves and harvest and home sweet holiday and so I'll take any smelling candle anything to make my house smell good and make me feel relaxed that's my very first keeper item my second keeper item that I spend all my money at is Bath and Body Works um, my favorite is Japanese Cherry Blossom and I have everything from them I have the um, the cologne, the body spray, the soap, and the, the, I have everything. <laughs> I think I left my little tube in my purse, but I have the body spray. I also, I don't discriminate, so I will get some other smelling products. So I have here the coconut, um, the coconut lime. This is just regular coconut body wash. Um, brown sugar fig, which smells really good too. And the coca cabana. I like this. This smells really good too. But my, my absolute favorite is the Japanese cherry blossom. That's the one that I use the most. I will switch it up every now and then. But for the most part, that's the one that I use from Bath and Body Works. My next would be, probably should have been my first, is um, Sister Locks. Anything from Sister Locks. Um, the reconstructing conditioner. My hair is very brittle um, during the time that I had perm ends on my locks. So I would take a dab of this and rub it throughout my hair. Only like a dime size. Rub it throughout my hair to try to keep it moist and then spray it with a, with a water mist every day. Now I put like a dime to a nickel size worth of the conditioner in a spray bottle and I'll spray it in my hair daily um, to keep them a little moist. Um, I have a problem with lint so I don't do too many oils and stuff like that because I don't want to attract too much dirt to it. But I still use my um, starter shampoo. I never really stopped. I would use other shampoos mane and tail and my sister like starting shampoo when I first started I know that was bad but I did it anyway and I still use my starter shampoo because I have the whole little kit um, I, I don't band anymore or anything like that but I still use the, the starter shampoo my next keeper item would be um, Mary Kay I love Mary Kay satin hands um, I keep this in my bathroom. It's really good. You know, you put it on and you scrub it and it has like sugar or something in there. Oh no. It has a hand scrub in there, but it's similar to a sugar scrub. Get all the dead skin off and I just love it. Um, I have the, the peach satin hands in the bathroom plus the, the um, peach satin hand lotion. Um, plus I use all of Mary Kay's. <laughs> Um, daily products. This is my travel kit. So I use their morning and night face 
facial wash. I used to use black soap. Um, but I don't really have a problem with my skin, so I can only I only wash it with this Mary Kay product about once a week. Um, but normally just water because it'll dry out if I use the basic soap or any other kind of soap daily on my face, any cleanser or anything like that. So um, this is my Mary Kay. Um, my next is Eucerin. My son has extremely dry skin, so we buy a ton of Eucerin. It's actually clearing up now. Um, I usually put, the Eucerin is very thick and don't go on too smooth. So I use Eucerin, olive oil, um, apple cider vinegar, and a touch of rosemary, I think, is the, the oil that I put in there. And I whip it together by hand with a wooden spoon or a spatula or something and rub this on him so this is another keeper item is our eucerin for my son i haven't quite got to where natural southern girl is with the deodorant um i wish i could i had a a young lady that used to do my braids that was from africa her name is a wet i spoke about her in previous videos she mentioned to me that in africa she never smelled body odor never smelled um anyone's breath anyone's body odor at all until she came to america and, the, and she believed that it had something to do with um, the chemicals that we put in our food. So I do agree that I, I once I'm completely raw, then I can possibly get to not wearing deodorant. But right now I'm not. So my last, I think it's my last. Yep, it's my last keeper item is Tropical Paradise by Suave, the deodorant. Um, I absolutely love the smell. Um... It, I found earlier this summer it wasn't quite holding me, but that could have been the chemicals that was in my body. I'm not quite sure. So I moved to um, Arm & Hammer baking soda brand. Um, doesn't smell so good. This smells wonderful. But that will be all for my keeper items. I don't quite know who I'm going to tag, but I will put a list over to the side. Or side, uh wherever you know what I'm talking about I'll put your name um over to the side as far as who I'm going to tag but thank you natural southern girl I love you and I'll see you soon